welcome back to the channel and to a new project. Um, this time I thought I'd do things a little differently and begin with showing you the model at the stage it is at the end of the video, just for a change. Um, so obviously watching the video, you'll see all the stages I took to get to uh, this part. So the diorama here I've set in Eastern France somewhere around the autumn of 1944. The scenario being the German mechanics here have just parked up the mobile wagon in a French farmyard for some urgent maintenance and repair. However, a couple of the local youngsters have some mischief in mind, uh, trying to pinch some of the mechanics tools whilst they're busy working on the vehicle. Through this video, I'll show you the mobile wagon and the tractor just tucked in the garage here, their initial builds, run through the figures that I've used, um, additional detailing I'm going to add to the, to the diorama, um, and also the initial groundwork and the base itself. The farmhouse itself you can see here, this is from German company Jura Design. I've built this in a separate video uh, to this one, reviewing what's in the box, uh, how all the kit goes together, etc. Um, I'll post the link in the notes of this video below once it's uploaded to the channel. So if it's not there yet, uh, hopefully it will be very soon. Just to say, um, this was the first time I've built a kit using uh, laser uh, cut wood. Um, as opposed to the normal plaster and, or plastic um, and it's a really nice kit really enjoyable to put together so it's worth just having a look at that video so that's the intro done for now uh, let's crack on with the video okay so we're gonna have a quick look at the figures I'm going to use in this project as you can see most of them are from Sovereign 2000 um, I picked up these at Telford last year um, for the first time I've never used these before um, it'd be nice to see what their resin figures are like. Um, I bought this little set uh, with this project in mind, although not really having an idea of what scenario I was going to do. Um, I've also got Verlinden's uh, little set here, um, a German tanker and a boy, and I've also got another couple of figures I'm going to use as well. So the first two are German mechanics, one in shirt sleeves and one in a pullover. So this first guy comes with a little resin base. Uh, for him to stand on featuring some track links and he's posing as if he's thinking about something. As you can see at the moment these guys are mostly one piece with just a head to attach which does take some of the fun out of creating the figures. I did notice however there appeared to be a slight height difference between the two figures so I decided to give this guy um, a new hornet head of a slightly younger kid. Um, and he's from Hornet Headset HH31, which includes heads from different age groups. Next, the German Cobbler, repairing a number of boots, um, and all the pieces for this guy will come in just a single bag. Unlike the other figures though, um, he comes in a total of eight parts, uh, which includes another nice base. Detailing and sculpting of all these figures uh, are really nice. Finally from the Sovereign set uh, is the Rural Civilian, who's in a similar pose to the mechanic we saw earlier. He comes as a complete figure, so changing the arms or the head would be virtually impossible, um, but I'll use him as a farmer in the diorama. Next up is the Verlinden figure set German tanker with boy. Uh, all the parts come in one clear bag, um, and the German figure, he comes in eight parts altogether, and the boy just has the arms and the shoes separate from the body. Uh, the boy is especially really nicely detailed, but what I'm planning on doing is putting one hand hiding something behind his back. So whilst going through the spares box looking for bits to add to the diorama, I came across this master box set um, which I partially used but the farmer in it, um, he's still on the sprue so I could add him as well perhaps. Uh, finally is this little set from Polish company Mantis Miniatures, uh, country boy with accessories, um, the boy comes in one little bag and the accessories come in the other. Uh, the little boy is going to be pivotal to the story I think of this diorama. Uh, just change the apple that he's holding, um, replacing that with something else. But all the other um, accessories that come with it, obviously for the farmyard, will be ideal.
So what I've decided to do is to do something a little bit different. And with these garage doors, I've decided I'm going to remove them. And like so, scratch build some new ones using some plastic cards, um, using the others as a template. And what I've done done is I made a little garage and that is going to actually, I can get it around, sit inside like so. Um, and then the tractor is going to be half in, half out, um, just coming out here. So you'll see virtually half of the tractor. Um, the garage doors, the new garage doors will be swung open. Um, and the reason I'm going to build some scratch ones is in the front, they're, they're nicely detailed, but the backs are just plain pay, uh, card, basically, obviously, because normally it's all enclosed. So once the doors are open, you're going to see both sides of them. So I have to, have to make some scratch ones using those as templates with the plastic card. So far, I've still plenty of detail to add with more tools from Mini Arts Little Kit, um, vegetation, etc. And also on the side here, I've got something else in mind, a uh, nice little detail that will hopefully help. Um, um, but that's all to come in part two. Um, in that video, I'll be painting the farmhouse with the vehicles, detailing the garage a little more and working on the figures. Um, but the next thing to do um, straight after this, I'll be priming everything in black giving everything a base coat in black and then start building up the colors from there. Uh, don't forget you can keep up to date on Instagram. Uh, look out for the farm building uh, video coming up very soon and I'll be back later on for part two.